Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, and welcome to this 27th annual American Band College program. Great to see all of you here today. Thanks for coming. ABC before it was this ABC, clear back into the early 80s, and we've had a lot of magic here, but this last couple weeks has had an unbelievable great feel to it, hasn't it? Those of you that are going through the graduation process now, you, you know me, it's really, the 25th was amazing, but watching what's happened has been absolutely incredible. You're in for the treat of all time, I'm telling you, over the next couple of days. And one of the things that we did, because we kind of patterned our show tomorrow night after the 1940s and featuring Benny and, um, good, uh, the, uh, the band of Artie Shaw and Glenn Miller, you're going to see this band in all sorts of guises. But right now you get to see them do some things they really wanted to do today by themselves and also joined by our guest artist, Robert Spring, who's the clarinetist in all those bands tomorrow night. Please welcome the ABC Jazz Ensemble.
Six years ago, we hooked up with Sam Houston State University, and it's been a wonderful alliance with that school. They've done so many great things for us, and they made it possible for us to run an out-of-the-box program, which you just do not find in the United States of America, let me tell you. We've had a lot of great people to work with there over the years, uh, with Mike Bankhead early on, who helped us put it all in place with the former provost who was here a couple of years with us and several other terrific people. In the last year, this gentleman has done many things to solidify all the important aspects of doing something that's as unusual as our program is. In a way, it's a distance learning program, but it's not because it's immersion and it's got all these other things. He's the associate dean of the School of Mass and Fine and Forming Arts, and he is our closest contact. I hope you'll please welcome, give a good welcome to our good friend, Dr. Brian Miller. Well, this is exciting. I was here last year uh, right around the Medford concert time and when I learned about ABC I said this is an amazing program, a unique program. You all know that. I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> I know that. I'm a choir director by the way. <laughs> but while I'm in the College of Fine Arts education at Sam Houston, music is, music is my passion. But I also want you to know I'm a band dad. <laughs> My daughter plays flute. She was a drum major, and I had the, the pleasure of driving the big van with all the percussion stuff from Houston to San Antonio. <laughs> I say all this that I appreciate on a personal basis the practice that is here, the practicality. How many of you, and I know it's a responsibility, how many of you teach band public school? Raise your hand, please. Okay. I know, it's all of you. I got it. <laughs> Sometimes universities focus a lot on research and not enough on praxis. 
What I love about this is that it is hands-on. It is hands-on. It's an exciting program, and Sam Houston is delighted to be part of it. And I want to tell you, the last year, why am I holding mugs? Oh, and Krista Moore, I will put your mug back, I promise. <laughs> this is last year's mug. Okay, beautiful mug. Black. This year's mug is also black, but it has orange on the inside. I love it. And can I tell you that it is symbolic of this last year. You all work in the public schools. We all know all the things that go into a production. Well, I want you to know that getting degrees is a production. And I have enjoyed working with Scott and with Max and with Paul this year behind the scenes. The amount of hours in the last 12 to 18 months that have gone into this partnership have been huge. And we're so pleased that we're moving ahead on it. We realize that it can provide challenges sometimes. So my suggestion is just keep carefully checking your emails from ABC and from Sam Houston, okay, as, as those things come out. What I want you to know, personally and professionally and for the college, we want to make sure that every one of you gets your degree as you are supposed to do. So for this group, our first group of MA in band conducting, keep in touch with us, okay? If something's not looking right, feeling right, get in touch with Scott and Paul, get in touch with us, and we'll make sure that that happens. A little bit about Sam Houston State. We are going to surpass 20,000 in enrollment this year. Very excited about that. Yes. Another thing that I want you to know that Sam Houston State, if you didn't know, at its very roots is a teacher preparation institute. It was a normal institute at its very beginning. And I also want you to know that music education, and in particular in band, it is one of the largest music education programs in the state. And yes, Max, this is out of the box. <laughs> it is, but you do wonderful things. It's an amazing program. And I want to congratulate all of you for being here, and particularly coming grads. Thank you for the time. I also want to thank Brian. Uh, when we first started hearing about financial aid issues and a couple of uh, difficult issues there, I called Brian and I said, okay, we need to work on some of these uh, different things that are happening. And I get a call, uh, must have been two in the morning or something like that. And I, and I call Brian and he goes, hello. I said, hello. And he says, I am in, where were you, in Italy? About to catch a flight. But I mean, it's like he's still checking his voicemail on his, on his family vacation. He said, I want to make sure that everybody's okay. I want to make sure your ABC students are okay. And he says, it's you know, 5 a.m. right here. I'm, I'm in my hotel room. So, I mean, he, just, he really, really cares a lot about what you guys do, and he's such a great help. And we've done lots of conference calls, lots of video conferences, and uh, he's just a great guy. So, see him and talk to him and thank him for all of his hard work when you see him. Moving on here, we're going to have a, the, Patrick Sheridan's going to come up, and uh, you're in for a real tomorrow night at the concert. By the way, that, uh, that young clarinet player that was out here, that, <laughs> that was Bob Spring, and he will be playing on the concert as well tomorrow night. So, you're in for a great treat with Soloist, welcome Patrick Sheridan. Thanks, everybody. Um, I uh, well, got here yesterday uh, and uh, was having a meeting about the protocol of tomorrow night's concert, and, and Max and Scott said, uh, oh, hey, would uh, you mind talking about the certification? But, you know, I'm, I'm more comfortable telling jokes um, than being serious and inspirational. Um, and so um, uh, uh, I thought, I, and I'm not really sure uh, what I would like to talk about in terms of other than my experience with this institution. Um, so in 1989, this was the first year of ABC, uh, was the year that I joined the President's Own United States Marine Band, having just left Arizona State University, having studied with Dan Parentoni. And I joined the band. Loved the band, got out of the band, 
went to, to do my MBA, which is how I felt about it, by the way, over there, um, <laughs> in finance and marketing at the University of Michigan um, with the idea of getting out of what I sought in it in terms of uh, uh, being able to make a living from it didn't exist. Being a tuba soloist, right? You carry around a year at a glance calendar. Um, <laughs> Still, it's a really easy view on an iPhone 6. It's like the whole thing, it's really small, and it's like, oh, I'm working on that day. Um, <laughs> so uh, I was studying music, uh, business and uh, into music to work as a soloist, and so my first uh, 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 moment back into music and trying to make some connections with music educators for clinic work and to uh, try to have some momentum as a freelancer in the... In the <laughs> in the tuba solo world by myself. Um, uh, I was uh, through Dan Parentoni, the person that sort of led me on off on my graduated me from the tuba on my way to the Marine Band at the Midwest Clinic. And we were in the hallway of the, uh, of the Chicago Hilton Towers, and he introduced me to Max McKee. And Max at the time, this was awesome, I, was, I, I, could, I, I can remember it crystal clear. He had a big, huge leisure suit on. I mean, you could walk through the, the pinstripes. They were so wide. <laughs> Pinstripes wide, legs flared, on the tie was huge, he was looking slick, and he had hair then that was super curly and like, woo! He looked like a producer for Boogie Nights, right? It was amazing. It's the new concert band suite by Frank DeKelly. And Dan introduced me to Max, he said, hey, Max, this is Max, he runs West clinic and Max you should know Pat because he's up and coming and he's and and I uh, was just a brief meeting and Max was very nice he said hello nice to see you and I said oh nice to see you sir and great hair and um uh and <laughs> right and uh hey right. and uh, uh uh so this was uh six years later in 2002 I was invited to come to ABC for the first time and uh, uh, and upon entering the the very first thing that I came to was a band rehearsal which I think is the essence of what I of what makes this such a joyful um, experience for for education um, which is I walked into the band rehearsal in the afternoon and I think uh, we said this a couple weeks ago in an event with Bob Ponto and it's like the the, the general emotion of, of, of a person when they play in band is basically where they were in seventh grade. So it was like, as soon as we sit and our feet start swinging, chewing gum, right? The trombone players are eating, the tuba players are trying to eat, you know, it's like, it's, it, it, the drummers are fire, it's crazy. It's like, <laughs> everybody starts behaving just like their students that they, they don't want them to behave. Um, it's, it's, it, it's super joyful, and I, I think that's a natural behavior as a part of being in band. And I think that's what, what was so amazing for the people that I know that have come to participate in this and then go home as inspired humans and great teachers, is that they, they, they forgot, they forgot to go to band camp and come home in the chair of it and come home and be like, yeah, band! For the people that, I, that have come to this, which is, I think it's like out of the box program, but I mean, how out of the box is that you're gonna be a band teacher, so you're gonna come to band and learn to play all the band instruments properly, and you're gonna play in band to learn how to teach band. <laughs> that out of the box, or it should all education should be right there. But people come back to this, and then when they come to this, and they have to play a band instrument, and then their secondary band instrument in the boo-boo band, they, they connect with the joy of making music again, which was what walked us into the band room when we were little kids in the first place. I think that's the, 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 the thing that I take away from it. It's like, oh, this, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be joyful. And what allows us to have it to be a joyful experience where we get to connect uh, human beings with compassion, with peace, understanding with all of these great emotions that are lie across the spectrum of life through the conduit of music it's supposed to be a joyful experience you have to remember that it's how we play music I get in airplanes all the time and because uh, I because of what I do which is stay ahead of the law um, and uh, <laughs> uh, and 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 so a lot of times I get bumped up to first class if I'm right where I have 
miles, and, um, and so I get bumped up, and I'm always dressed much worse than this. I usually have a pair of cutoff shorts and a t-shirt that says somebody's band, and bass clef is cool, burn the bassoons, whatever, you know, and, <laughs> um, and a tattered hat, and, and a lot of times, like in August, I'm always rolling marching band camp, and I roll right into the first class of American Airlines. You know, there's guys with suits that are, are more expensive than my house. And they always ask the same thing. They say, hey, what do you do for a living? Which is, how did you get up here? Um, <laughs> and I, and I, I always, you know, I'm, I'm a tuba player and I work as a soloist. So if you say like, oh, I'm a tuba soloist, the conversation's over. So, <laughs> so I never answer right away because I like to talk to the person that's talking to me. So I was like, hey, what do you do for a living? And I always turn around, well, what do you do for a living? And what I've noticed in thousands of these conversations is that people that are not involved in the arts, that, don't, or that aren't in music, really, say always the same thing. They work at a place, I work at the hospital, I work at a law firm, or they work in a field, I work in accounting. And when they ask me what I do, they, I say, well, I'm a musician. I always follow with this phrase, I play music. And in my head, I delight in the fact that that is what I do for my life. I play. <laughs> so, things that, 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 it's like, yeah, yes, you had to learn hundreds of fingerings. <laughs> right? Followed by many ounces of uh, adult milk, uh, beverages. <laughs> funny because it's true apparently <laughs> uh, that 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 it's that that what our job is when we teach music is that we are we're we're this conduit for joy but we also when we're playing a piece about grief when we're playing a piece about compassion when we're pay, playing a piece about loss we walk in those people's shoes so if we're ever going to have the right reaction the one where we can look across at somebody and have a conversation about any subject in the world and have mutual respect for each other, it's because we've at one point walked in that person's shoes. And we do that every time we play music. And so if there's going to be, if peace is going to break out, ever, it's because of what we teach. That's our job. So I had, a, I had this thing, my, my biggest inspiration for, for working with teachers, I finally got a chance to work out for myself. I, I made my own Max McKee play and ran a, a, a band camp a couple of weeks ago with Bob Ponto. And it was because of what happened when I came to this program. And I was just like, oh my God, seventh graders in like older bodies. really cool. It's really awesome. It was really inspired to have a place where people can go to have this, to have fellowship, to find joy in this, where we get to teach the life skills to enter through our door. And one of the people that came to our thing, he says the same thing to his band all the time, and I feel like this is I feel like this is true amongst teachers, and I certainly feel like this is true in life. And he, and he said at the end of his little time when he conducted the band, he said, you know, we exist to make each other better. I'm like, amen. Have a great day. Have a great career. Good luck to you all. Thank you. How many people flew in or drove in today to be with your spouse or relatives? Look at all those family members. That is, that is fantastic. <laughs> and we know how difficult it is because you guys have been here for what over two weeks almost 18 days now right and so we know have loved ones and I know some of you don't have your loved ones here but um, part of what makes ABC so special and for my dad and for is it, we have such an amazing amazing staff uh, these staff care so much about the students they care so much about what's going on here um, almost all of them are graduates of this program so they've all been through it. They all know what this feels like. They all know what boo-boo 
like they know that you know going into that final exam how that can just be such a stressful time so i just love our staff so much and i i want to i create a slideshow so you can kind of see where these folks are from and just kind of see them over the last couple of years so if we can have the lights and away we go
Are we here? And on to the best part. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Come on up, Paul. I've just come up with something, and I don't often have these magnificent <laughs> It took us 27 years to figure out that we should put live music on this thing. <laughs> Who knew? And one more really important little tidbit. Somewhere amongst these people, to be the eighth, eight hundredth graduate of the American Band College. <laughs> and no, I won't tell you who it is. So. so if we could have the first row go over there and get ready to come around here, that would be great. And then we get this whole thing going. That's what I meant about live music for the f <laughs> All right, so you may wonder why we call this a certification and not a graduation. It only has a little thing to do with tests and grades. <laughs> We're not, but I don't know if you are or not anyway. Starting it all off, from Arizona, teaching at Glendale High School, Steve Algeyer. Relax, we get this under control real quick. She lives in Needville, Texas, teaches at Sartarsia Middle School, Julianne Amos. He teaches at Ganesha High School in uh, Pomona, California, William Arcinega. <laughs> Diamond Fork Junior High School director from Utah, Daniel Bigler. From Waldorf, Maryland, teaching at Westlake High School, we're glad to see him back, Russell Bly. <laughs> From Saguaro High School, Mesa, Arizona, Matthew Bach. You. You bet. He teaches at Stewart County High School in Dover, Tennessee, Philip Bossenberger. <laughs> he 
He's a teacher at Castellaro Middle School in San Jose, California, Ronald Bowman. <laughs> From Snake River High School in Blackfoot, Idaho, Randall Bray. He teaches at Brainerd School in Brainerd, Minnesota, Christopher Brandt. <laughs> He's the band director of high school in Sumner, Peter Briggs. He teaches at Joseph Gregory High School in Modesto, California, Daniel Bryan. She's from Southeastern Massachusetts, teaching in middle school. Teresa Caleri. <laughs> In Somerset, Kentucky, Winter. He teaches at the Anthony Traina School in Tracy, California, Benjamin Cooper. <laughs> He's now teaching at Lansdowne School in Victoria, British Columbia, Stephen DeVries. He teaches at Concord Academy in Petoskey, Michigan, Paul DeSimone. <laughs> he teaches at Mesa Verde Middle School in San Diego, California, Luke Diebold. He teaches at Eagle Point High School in Eagle Point, Oregon, Jeremy Durst. He teaches at West Junior High School in Brockton, Massachusetts, Andrew Fantuccio. He teaches at LaSalle High School in Cincinnati, Ohio, Brian Fisher. Okay. Yep. One of the schools he teaches at is Grant in East Wenatchee, Washington, Skylar Garcia. He teaches at 
Lexington Junior High School in Cypress, California, Steve Gray. She teaches at Attleboro High School in Attleboro, Massachusetts, Corlin Grug. He teaches at Tumwater Middle School in Tumwater, Washington, James Harper. She teaches at McKinney Intermediate School, where they're fortunate to have her, in Plumas Lake, California, Allison Hasty. is at Central of Burden Schools in Winfield, Kansas, Jamie Hayes. <laughs> She's the Adams Elementary School director in Davenport, Iowa, Monique Hill. He's the director at West Stokes High School in King, North Carolina, Daniel Jarvis. Yeah. He's the director at Cedar River Middle School in Auburn, Washington, Paul Johnson. From the International School of Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf, Germany, Sanford Jones. <laughs> She's the director of Rochester High School, Rochester, Washington, Sarah Kale. He's the director at the King Philip Regional Middle School in Rentham, Massachusetts, Michael Keogh. He is the director at the Alice Buffett Magnet Middle School of Omaha, Nebraska, Adam Killam. Get it all. <laughs> The director of bands at the Ensworth School of Nashville, Tennessee, Lyndon Lance. <laughs> she teaches at the Immaculate Conception School in Methuen, Massachusetts, Anna LaPointe.
He's the director at Workman High School in Azusa, California, Maurice Limon. Band director at Notre Dame Preparatory High Holly, Michigan, Tim. From Marietta, Georgia, where he teaches at the Marietta Middle School. Matthew Matthijs. <laughs> so Levi figured I'd forget from last year, so he handed me the pronunciation now. <laughs> Skipping all those announcements of seeing me beforehand, by the way. <clears throat> But anyway, he comes from Spokane, Washington, where he teaches at Lakeside High School, Levi, Missouri. <laughs> from Brockton, Massachusetts, at the Ashfield Middle School, Jonathan Monroe. The director of the Oakland High School Bands from Murfreesboro, Deneen Knapper. at Buchanan High School in Clovis, California, Jason Orchard. <laughs> nice trumpet playing, by the way. Thank you. Bedford, Massachusetts, Matthew Pacheco. <laughs> He's the director of Prairie High School in Eden Prairie, Minnesota, Scott Palmer. The Pleasant Valley High School Director, Iowa, Nicholas Propes. Thank you. you bet. From Victoria, British Columbia, where he teaches at the Lansdowne Middle School, Denver Rawson. <laughs> the director of bands at Baxter Community School in Baxter, Iowa, Ellie Rolk. <laughs> The director at Wasatch High School in Shelley, Idaho, John Rizka. <laughs> He's the director at LaSalle Springs High School in Eureka, Missouri, Christopher Sikowski. From Glendora High School in Pasadena, California, Schwartz. <laughs> the 
Mountain Middle School director from Tacoma, Washington, Stephanie Shepard. Good work. You said it right. Thanks. Directs the bands at Maryville High School in Portland, Missouri, Burke Schaus. <laughs> he directs bands at Shadow Mountain High School in Phoenix, Arizona, Natan Simon. <laughs> She directs bands at Baird Middle School in Springfield, Massachusetts, Taryn Smith. He directs the bands at Flowing Wells Junior High School in Tucson, Arizona, Matt Stout. Lincoln Middle School in Warren, Michigan, Thomas Tarento. He directs at Litchfield Middle School in Litchfield, Minnesota, John Tavernbold. He directs at the Hulk Middle School in Salem, Oregon, Ryan Udall. <laughs> he directs at the Helix Charter High School in San Diego, California, Mitchell Way. He directs at Oak Bay High School in Victoria, Columbia, Jeffrey Weaver. <laughs> he directs at the Sierra View Elementary School in Oakdale, California, Jeremy. <laughs> nice She's the director of bands at Riverside Military Academy in Georgia. Kate. <laughs> middle school in North from Northport, Florida, David Wing. <laughs> last member of the class, but certainly not, it just happens that her name starts with Z. Mm -hmm. Copper King Elementary School from Avondale, Arizona, Amy Z. Ladies and gentlemen, it is
is my honor to present to you the class of 2015 from the American Band College of Sam Houston State University and the including the 800th graduate of the American Band College this year's stand up and face them We would very much at this time like the members of the class to go over in front of the on the steps there and arrange for the official class picture. Uh, then lots of time and friends who have come and we will begin rehearsal at three o'clock today. And guess what? 